Hey, bro, what are you doing, man? What's up, bro? Kipping. What? Dude, I just saw you flailing around, flailing around in the bar, man. Yeah, I know. Me looking awesome and ripped and doing awesome, awesome form pull-ups. That's what you saw. All right, man. Um, what's your name? Sorry, what's your name? Yeah, don't worry about my name, bro. Let do me you know what a kipping pull-up is? Well, let me see you do it again. You want to see an awesome pull-up? Let's see it. Bro, aren't you like a fitness coach? I'm a fitness god, not a coach. I'm a deity of fitness. All right, dudes and dudettes, no wasting time today, getting right into it. So today's going to be a little bit different, guys, because we're going to start off with one minute of jump rope, then do five chin-ups and repeat that pattern twice more for one circuit. So as you can see here, we're just doing a minute of boxer skip, and I have my cross rope weighted handle rope in my hands now it's super i what i would recommend is this is a more advanced workout because we're doing some more advanced moves and doing some chin-ups so if you can go ahead and use a weighted handle jump rope that is going to help um, the upper the effectiveness of this upper body workout because after you're done doing chin-ups to do a minute of this type of jump rope with the heavy rope is super hard and you're going to be like dude dan what the hell this is like my arms are really tired and now I can't lift them up to take a shower. Thank you. Now I'm going to be stinky forever. I'm just kidding. That's all I want. But it might. So that's a good thing, you know, because you're, you're getting your shoulders worked out. And, uh, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up now and stop rambling. Next up, guys, we have the chin-ups, the first round of chin-ups. So we'll rest for 10 seconds in between here. And guys, as I always mention, I don't care how long you're working out. I don't care if you're in a gym. That doesn't matter. Your body doesn't know. You need to go at a high intensity. You don't need to work out for more than 30 minutes if you are going at a high intensity, but your body will not adapt and change and lose fat and build muscle unless you are going at an all-out intensity. Now, here we go for chin-ups, guys, and then we will go back. So for chin-ups, it's just reversing the grip instead of having your hands facing your palms facing away from you they're facing towards you and you're just pulling yourself up chin over the bar and then coming back down in elementary school these were called girl pull-ups and i think that's ridiculous because they're just as effective for getting super buff and, and, and jacked so i don't know what, I, I don't know what those kids were talking about all right guys mummy kicks up next now we're just on the balls of our feet on our toes and we're tapping them slightly out forward in front of us this might take a little bit to get used to so if you can only do regular bounce guys go ahead and do regular bounce that is totally fine and if you mess up don't worry you're gonna see me mess up multiple times as i already have it doesn't matter it's not like you need to be perfect to build a great body you just need to continue going and when you mess up get right back on trap track you know who cares whatever doesn't matter all right, guys, and here we go. Almost done with mummy kicks. Almost done with mummy kicks. Now, this is really a great workout because it combines both body weight exercise uh, to, you know, shape muscle mass and hang on to lean muscle mass, but also, you know, high endurance sets so that this is great for athletes who are runners or training for marathons. Um, this doesn't just apply to fat burning, super high intensity exercises. This is a great workout that, where jump rope is used more as an endurance tool and for hanging on to lean muscle mass. Second round of chin ups, guys. Second round of chin ups. Here we go. Good. There we go. Come on, Dan. And five. Last one. Good, guys. Jump rope crisscross next. Now, again, I've said this before. If you cannot do crisscross, that is totally cool. Practice it. What I'd recommend is try, if you can't do every one, like you'll see me, I'm, I'm crossing every single time here. If you can't do that for like more intermediate people, do three to four regular bounce and then do crisscross. And for people who are just starting out, just do regular bounce. That's totally fine. As I always mention, you don't need to do the tricks to build the awesome body. You just need to be able to spin the rope for a long time, especially a weighted handle rope that'll make you super sexy. Um, so crisscross here, guys, if you can. I challenge you to do so, go as hard as possible. 30 seconds left, then we got chin-ups, and then the workout is, oh, I'm sorry, the workout's not over. Then you gotta rest for a minute, and then repeat this another four times. So completing this whole circuit five times total. So this is just one time through, just for clarity. Good guys, we'll get one more rest time in, we'll do chin-ups, and then you're going to rest a minute, and then do this circuit over again. Good guys, 
And remember, at Zen Dude Fitness, Brandon and I do not care if you look cool or if you can do heavy weight or do 100 pull-ups or whatever. We care if your form is right. You need to be coming down the whole way and nice, slow, and controlled. See how I'm not just jumping around on the bar? It's nice and slow and controlled here. Tell him. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Do you like when I do that? Yeah, That's it's like nice. intimidating, right? Yeah. Come at me. Like an ape, yeah. kind of. Come at this. Yeah. Come at myself. Yeah, tell him with your chest. Come at Daniel Yeah, Whitman. tell him with your chest. Come at me. Tell him with your chest. Yeah.